Twitter is currently a buzz with this cool new release by Google. That's the Google AI Studio that you have to try on the Gemini app. They've recently started Gemini 2.0 Flash Experimental, which is basically a tool that you can talk with to edit your image in any way possible. Like, let's look at what users on Twitter are doing. Like, people are making the AI make them wear masks and change their hair color. People are making them do ridiculous stuff like a cat holding a knife or a cat holding a gun. Uh, they are making band covers from normal images. And they're doing so many different cool stuff like making videos from photographs, like adding a front image and a back image and then a video of a lady turning. So I wondered how powerful really is Google's AI studio? Is it possible to use it to generate professional headshots for my LinkedIn profile? So I decided to give it a try and what better way than to do it live with you people. So the first step is to search for Google AI Studio and this is what will open up on your page. So from here, you have to click on create prompt. That's the first step, you will you'll be creating a new prompt and this is the model, right? It's Gemini 2.0 Flash. So we have to select Flash Experimental, which is yes so this is the gemini 2.0 flash uh, flash model which is image generation experimental this is the cool tool that has made twitter go crazy and the best part it is completely free uh, as you can see here it is zero dollars for input zero dollars for output and you can use it to generate any images or any videos that you like so let's select the output format as images and text and then we are going to right here uh, tell this tool to generate ai headshots for us i have written this prompt i want you to look at these images of my face and generate a professional headshot i can use on my resume or linkedin profile now for the tool to have reference i will upload about 10 or 15 pictures of my face so it can get a clear idea of how i look like the way to do that is click on this plus button and then add images All right, so I made a mistake. I just clicked on run before the images were uploaded. Not an issue. I'm going to copy this prompt. And I'm going to paste it here again. Now that all my 10 images have been uploaded, I'll click on run. This should give the AI tool enough input to generate a professional headshot of me. So after a lot of back and forth, this is the headshot that Google generated for me. Uh, this definitely doesn't look like me at all. The only thing that Google managed to capture was my dress, my blue floral outfit. This is what I'm wearing in the image, but this definitely doesn't look like my face. The hair doesn't look like me at all. So I'm going to give a tighter prompt. So I decided to give AI Studio a tighter prompt that goes, look at the 13 images I uploaded and learn how my face looks like. Now generate my face wearing a suit that I can use on my LinkedIn profile. This should be a professional headshot. Let's see how good this tool is able to understand my prompt. I think I made it pretty clear, but with AI, you can never tell. Oh my God, what, what is this? Who is this? <laughs> this is a disaster. No, <laughs> no, no, no. So I think Google misunderstood my prompt. So I'm going to create a new prompt and say, can you generate a professional headshot of my face wearing a suit? Let's see how well the AI model understands it now. The image is ready, but this doesn't look like me. So I'm going to write it to Google. So this time I added a few more details to my prompt that this does not look like me. Can you analyze the images I uploaded and replicate my face wearing a suit so it looks like a professional headshot. Please make me wear glasses in the final picture. Let's see what happens this time. 
what is this this is so disappointing let me just say some more details here are a few details this time I wrote my prompt with a few details about me that I'm female 30 years old I'm Indian I wear glasses can you look at the pictures I uploaded and generate a professional headshot for me let's see if this time we get it right oh god <laughs> what is this who is this this is definitely not me and it's so bad like it seems like google randomly generated an image just for the sake of it i should try to upload the images and the prompt in the same uh, command let's try and do that so this time i have added all the 12 images and the prompt in a single command these are the 12 images that I use for uploading. These are all selfies. And the prompt that I used was, these are 12 images of my face. Can you analyze them? And then generate a professional headshot of me wearing a suit. Let's see if Google AI Studio is able to do its magic this time. <laughs> it seems Google AI Studio is incapable of generating a picture of a woman wearing a suit. It somehow always converts me to a man and this doesn't even look like my face. I don't know what Google was thinking. This is crazy. So what I did next was I uploaded these images once again and then I used another prompt. And the prompt was these are a few selfies of me. Can you take this as reference and generate a professional headshot for me? I want to use it on my resume so it should look exactly like me wearing a burgundy suit and a white collared shirt. Please also make me wear glasses. This is a pretty comprehensive prompt and this is what Google AI Studio came up with. Finally, it has managed to make me look female and it has managed to somehow replicate my face. But the face looks distorted, doesn't look like me. So the next prompt I used was, this doesn't look like me. Can you make the head headshot look exactly like me? And... Uh, Google apologized for that and asked them to create this picture and it seems they came up with the same image as before which is <laughs> not really like me but sort of like me so I asked can you make picture in a more casual setting with outdoorsy ba background wearing a black tube top under a blue denim jacket and this is what Google came up with sort of looks like me but the face is cut the angle is weird the picture quality is also not very high resolution so no so my verdict is while google ai studio is a fun tool to play with it's also free but if you are looking to create professional headshots of yourself that you can use on your linkedin profile or your resume then google ai studio is not the right place so what's an alternative let me talk to you about a cool tool that I absolutely love and you can also click on it by clicking the link in the description of this video or the first comment and that tool is called AI SuitUp. AI SuitUp is one of my favorite favorite tools to generate AI headshots for yourself and uh, the best part is it's not expensive at all. Let's look at the pricing. For just $27, you can get 50 headshots and they also use the latest AI model Flux, which is what Google AI Studio used. Uh, but if you want a little bit more higher quality images, you should go for the executive plan, which is just $57 and you can get 150 headshots and a lot of different styles. You do not have to bang your head writing different prompts. Uh, you do not have to like worry that every image would be terrible because AI suit up will take care of everything for you it's just a few simple clicks let me show you how you can do that it's so simple first you have to click on create your headshots then you have to select which plan you wish to go for and then you have to upload 15 selfies of yourself and you have to select a few basic details like your age your ethnicity whether you wear glasses or not then AI Suitor will give you an option to select some styles, some backgrounds, some outfits that you would like. And finally, it would generate some amazing headshots for you. I have made a detailed tutorial on how you can use AI Suitor. I have linked it right here. Please check it out. Now for the results, 
let me show you some cool pictures that I generated using AI suit up. So this is the first image that I got. It's so beautiful. The lighting on my face is so perfect. This It manages to capture my skin perfectly, my hair perfectly, my glasses perfectly. This looks like such a natural image. This is another image that I got from AI suit up and look at how lovely it is. It looks super professional. The lighting is amazing. It's ready to be used on my LinkedIn or on my resume. Another image generated using AI suit up that I fell in love with. Uh, if you remember the outfit I was wearing in the upload images, the outfit is similar to that, but my face looks so well lit, hair looks so natural. This definitely does not look like an AI generated image. This is one of my favorite images wearing a gray suit and a top. I love how it has managed to capture the blemishes on my skin as well. So usually we see with AI generated photos that the skin looks super photoshopped and super fresh. But you know people in their 20s and 30s, they actually have some blemishes, they have some fine lines. And this tool has managed to capture exactly that. It does not look airbrushed, it does not look AI generated. This is one more image which is like a studio photo shoot. If I had to get a picture like this click from a photographer, I can't even imagine how much money it would take me. Another image that I love, another image, yes. So these are the amazing stunning headshots I got by using AI suit up. So if you are looking to generate professional headshots for yourself, Google AI Studio is definitely not the right place to go. It would give you a headache. It would make you feel frustrated. Instead, you should opt for AI Suit Up, which is one of the best AI headshot generators in the market right now. And all you need to do to get your own AI photo shoot today is to click the link in the description of this video. Check out this cool tool and I guarantee you, you are going to love it.